Hello, this is our final blog of the year and soon the year sixes will be leaving Norfolk House and going to their new schools. The form six aren't the only ones departing, as sadly our hard-working headmistress will be going to work at Bellevue. Moving on to the happier news, so far this year has been full of fun and excitement throughout the school. In reception, they have visited Willow Farm and seen the many animals there. For one, we're able to see an even larger variety of animals at London Zoo. Moving into junior prep, they all went to Bletchley Park and did some rather complex coding and computing which was used in the war. In the oldest years, the Form 4s visited the Tower of London and stepped into the past, whereas in Year 5 and 6, they enjoyed themselves on an exciting science trip on the floating classroom on the London Canal, where they got to go through the Camden Locks. In Form 4, they went on their annual PGL trip to Surrey. They, they, they had an amazing time and came back singing songs and telling their exciting stories about their trip. In Form 5 and 6, they ventured all the way to France on their residential trip and visited exciting places such as the market, the bee farm, and made croissants, met pen pals, and exchanged gifts whilst practicing the, of, the opposite languages with each other. Student Council has been working hard on their third and final initiative of the year, VIP Day, where lots of talented parents came in to tell us about their current or past jobs. Mrs Brocklesby, who is an anaesthetist, came in and did a fake surgery and showed us how different medical equipment works. And Mr Godfrey and Mr Stimson did a reenactment of a court scene and showed us what happens when in court. There were many other different professions as well as these, including actors, musicians and parents who worked in advertising and computing. For the sporting side of the school, we had our successful sports day with athletic races and events from the 400 metres to the long jump. It was a close competition, but Clive managed to win by 16 points, with Wellington in second and Nelson in third. Every child put their best efforts into it. Everyone showed a great sportsmanship towards the event. Also, in Form 6, they have been focusing on our Young Enterprise project, with our two companies ordering, making, selling, advertising, researching and bidding to earn money for our companies. At the recent summer fair, the two companies successfully sold all of their products and earned a very large profit, which is going towards improving playground equipment, something for us to leave for the younger children. Senior Prep have been super busy learning all their lines for the production of Bucket Full of Dreams. Based off, the, based off the novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The performance was on Wednesday, Wednesday night and was an amazing showcase of all children's acting and musical talents. We even had a drummer, pianist and a flautist. We have had an amazing term so far and we're dreading the day it will come to an end, which is very soon. But our last term, it has been amazing. Everyone has made it an effort to make it the Form 6's best one, so we will remember this school always. How couldn't we? We are, we are looking forward to writing our final speeches for Awards Day. I would like to t take this time to say thank you to everyone who has supported us throughout the t our time here. And we are very sad to be leaving. But would also say a good luck to the rest of the students and keep working hard to keep Norfolk House an amazing school. We wish you a fun and relaxing summer. And if you're leaving, then a bright future ahead at your next school or job. Thank you.